Hi there guys, thanks for checking out this quick tutorial on how to bind two files together using Microsoft iExpress. Um, this program is already built into Windows so you don't need to worry about downloading anything at all. Uh, it's a really good program, you can use it for many different reasons. I'm sure the vast majority of you looking at this video um, are looking at it, you want to learn this for one particular reason, but I'm not going to go into that. I'd just like to say um, before we start that any actions you decide to take um, I am not held accountable for okay so I'm just going to show you a quick bit of information on how to do it and what you actually do with it is entirely up to you so we're going to start nice and easy we're just going to go to start and we're going to go to run okay I'm on XP so it's basically at the start menu it's nice and easy okay in the text box you're going to want to type in I express just zoom in so you guys can see that nice and easy just want to type in I express to that and then you want to hit OK. Um, there's quite a, a lot of different tutorials I've read over the internet on how to do this, okay? So um, don't take what I say as gospel, you know, tweak it, do what you like with it. This, these are just, I'm just going to show you the preference settings that I actually like to use personally. Um, feel free to use these, or if you wish, um, you know, use, if you see other people doing different things, feel free to try that out as well. Um, so basically when you first come up you're going to get this window here all you want to do is go create a new self extraction directive file and you're going to want to hit next um, next thing I always use the top setting extract files and run installation command nice and easy hit next um, in this particular uh, box here what I do is I press space and go to next you can type something in there if you want okay um, I will also again click no prompt and do not display a license now the first thing you're going to want to add is the program you want, you're actually going to want to bind. So if it was a rat or a bot or a trojan or a virus or whatever you want to bind to it, that's what you would add in first. So I've just made a folder here called test and I'm just going to add that in first of all, test.exe. And then secondly, you're going to want to add the actual legit program that you actually want to, um, want to install it to. So in this case, I just found this on my computer, that's why I'm using it, it's called Apex DC++. Okay, and you're going to want to hit open on that. So first of all, you've got the program you want to bind, um, and then second of all, you actually have the, the, you know, the legit software. Okay, then you're just going to want to hit next. Um, as the install program, I always put the legit program first of all, the legit software, sorry. Okay, I have seen other people do it differently. I've never tried it any other way, so this is what I know. Okay, and then uh, the post install command, you're going to want to put the file that you're binding to it. So in this case, it would be my test.exe. Okay, then you just want to go to next. Um, now, I've seen a couple of people, well, I've seen a lot of people do different things here. Hot, loads of people pick default setting, and a lot of people click the hidden setting. Um, I prefer to put default because the user can actually see what's going on in front of them and it just makes it less suspicious you know if they're trying to if if they're a bit worried about getting a virus or something if they can see it in front of them um, installing then I think that's a lot more convincing than having it hidden in the background however a lot of people do use hidden it's entirely up to you but for this point um, for this exercise um, I'm going to use default uh, next thing you want to do is click next after that now you can display a message after everything's finished installing you know you could write for example you could write an error message error um, you know minimum system requirements not met whatever you want really I never bother with this I just click no message um, after that just click next on there and then this is where the target path so this is where the file is going to end up after all okay um, so basically you can browse it I'm just going to put it in this folder and I'm going to call it apex um, dc plus plus dot exe okay so that's actually going to be the the files that we're binding together now, that's where its finishing location is going to be. Um, I always check both these boxes as well. You will get a prompt when you click the second one. Just don't worry about that. Click yes. Okay, next thing you want to do is click next after that. Um, some software that you actually install does require a restart. I always click no restart just because I'm lazy and it's always there. It's the first option. Uh, and then click next. Um, again, you will get a save self extraction directive, SED. Uh, I always click don't save, you can save if you wish, and click next. And then finally, create the package, click next. Um, it doesn't take very long to do this, it only takes about 15, 20 seconds because it's a small file. Um, it doesn't take very long at all, but this is basically, this is binding it together for you now. It gives you a percentage you know, of the progress it's taking. Um, it doesn't take very long to go up. And after you've actually um, finished binding the two programs together, um, 
you'll notice that it is a self-extracting directive, an SED, um, and the icon for that looks a little bit suspicious. So what you might want to do is get an icon changer. I'll show you that very, very quickly. Um, as you can see, it's just doing this, and it's actually finished now. Brilliant. Okay, so if I double-click test, you'll see my finished product is right here. So this is the result of these two being binded together. This program is going to install straight away and the post install is going to be my, um, in this case, my test subject, but it might be whatever you bind to that program. So a rat, a trojan, a virus or, or whatever, whatever it may be. Okay. Um, so what I do is um, if you just go to Google real quick and you type in icon changer, uh, it's a free downloadable program you can use. It. It's fairly decent. You can get the full version. I managed to get some serials online for it, so I've got the full version. Um, but there is a free trial version. Um, the only difference is on the trial version, you can only um, change three icons every 24 hours, I believe. So you just want to minus that down. Um, and what I do is I just basically right-click it, click Change Icon, um, and a load of them are already lift, um, brought, brought up right here. Um, you just want to change it to something a little bit more believable, just for example, I'm just going to use this one here, um, it looks slightly better than, than the logo that's on it, and just basically hit set, you'll get this uh, box that comes up, always check the first box, okay, and then you want to hit continue, uh, it doesn't take very long to do, literally seconds as you'll see, and when it's finished, I'll just close this down for you, you can basically see this is the final product that we've got, okay, it looks a lot more believable and safe than this one here, um, but it still looks very legit and, and very usable. So I hope that's helped you. If you've got any problems using it or you're having difficulty or you're not quite sure of something, uh, just send me a message. I've had a lot of help on this. I've met some really great people. Um, there's a lot of people out there who are willing to help you and to teach you new skills and to learn new things. So um, I'm going to pass on the same wisdom that I was taught. You know, I'll, I'll always help anyone who needs help. Um, I don't support people doing this just to rip other people off. Okay, so if that's what you're going to use it for, um, there's no point in, in, in really getting in contact. But if you are generally looking for it because you want to learn and you want to learn a new skill, you want to learn something new, then by all means post a comment or send me a message and I'll be more than willing to help you out. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.